Okay guys, I'm gonna cut my paper for my layout real quickly here, very simple. This paper is the Live Beautifully paper pack and I've just selected a handful of papers from it. The first thing I'm gonna do is trim off these roses on the zip strip. I'm gonna use it so that the darker side of the pink is this way and I'm gonna cut this at just four inches, very simple. All right, so two of those. And then I just need two inches of this two inches cut twice. And finally, this paper here, I just need three and three. Okay, okay, now let's go ahead and cut our photo mats. I'm gonna put a sheet of black cardstock in here, cut it at four, do another one, cut it at four, and then turn these and cut them at six. Okay, got those. Then I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna do 3.75. And the second one, 3.75. And then 5.75. The second one, 5.75. I'm gonna mount all those white pieces on the black. Now these represent where your photos are gonna go, these white pieces. You could even cut your photos slightly smaller and then have matted this twice. It's always an idea. Now let's build our layout, lay our pieces down. Okay, so first I'm gonna use the ombre pink. And I am just putting that flush with the bottom here. I'm going to put this here. Okay. Make sure the flowers have the leaves down. Then I've got this. <laughs> and I got this. This is two inches as we talked about. Then I've got some gold shimmer trim here that I'm going to put along this bottom edge underneath the roses and on top of the um, pink piece. Now a little tip I've learned along the way. Okay, I need to start my gold shimmer trim because I cut off the end. So I just put a piece of adhesive down and then I stick this here and then using my tweezers, it pulls right up and then the plasticky piece is on this card which will fool within a minute so I don't do it again. <laughs> All right. Eh. And I'm just gonna lay this along here, flush to the edge of the roses and on top of the pink. Now I've needed to use my ruler and my Versa mat. That's this black mat. One side is this measured section and the other side you can actually use the stamp on, which we'll do in a minute. And my ruler, because I can't live without this ruler. It's 14 inches and it helps me lay out everything perfectly. So I love my Versa mat and ruler. If you do any layouts where stuff starts in the middle, you will love it too. Over one and a half and down three. And there's one of our layouts done. Bing, that wasn't too bad, right? You would now make a duplicate of this using the remaining pieces and build the second half of the layout. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my embellishments ready for my layout. I've got some gold glitter gems, the Celebrate die cut, the Live Beautifully, stamp set so pretty you guys we're going to be cutting out some of these flowers and the leaves and stamping those all that kind of stuff and then i've got some gold glitter paper okay so let's get started okay i've got my sizzix big shot what i'm going to do is fortunately on here they tell you what to do but i'll tell you to you use this long plate with this mint side up you have a clear plate we're going to put our glitter paper and we're gonna put our die and then another layer on top. That's all we gotta do. And then we're gonna roll it through. And sadly, I have the handle on the wrong side, but you get the idea. 
Okay, now it's sitting in here and you can see, maybe you can't see, let's see if you can see, there's little holes and I'm just gonna use my tweezers to poke through those holes and that will push this out. All right, so there it is. Next up, we are going to take our stamp set. We're choosing this flower on the right. I'm gonna use Pixie ink. Now this is the other side of the Versa mat, which makes a nice spongy mat to stamp on. And I'm doing three of these, the left hand flower, and I'm going to use pomegranate. And I'm going to stamp two of these. And then I'm going to do some leaves. And I do the double leaves, stamping four of these. Okay, then I'm gonna do the single leaf in New England Ivy two times. Our next step is to go ahead and cut all these out. Okay, so be right back after I fussy cut all these out. Okay, all we need to do now is take our flowers that we cut out and our leaves and go ahead and get those stuck down. So nothing tricky about this. All right, so that's the first side. And now I get the second side. Remember, because they're gonna go like this. And that's what we just put on. And then we're gonna put another one down here in this corner. And then we'll have our celebrate across the top and then we'll put some gems. And then we're done. get my celebrate out. Got this bonding memories glue pen. Very carefully. This is gonna very carefully because this is extremely thin. And then I have some gold glitter gems. And there's our layout. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.